Right, I'm going to put my SNS filter kit on. Now, earlier, an earlier video, I was saying oh, I'm going to put my filter kit on, and I've got this one out, and then realised it was. Uh, except throttle by wire which is what this bike is, I picked the wrong one up so I managed to climb up my ladder even, even though it's all blocked in and you find that this one doesn't say except throttle by wire now the very very similar kits there's just a few little differences so I'll just quickly show what the differences are so this is this is the non throttle by I'll move that one this is the non throttle by wire and I'll just show you what comes in the kit we'll see we'll see what the differences are so you get your back plate which as you can see it's got a screw in there which actually fits the chokes. Obviously, you get all your fitting, your fitting kit, etc. Uh, obviously, the air filter itself, adapter plate, and then the two you drop air filter. So. With the throttle by wire, I'm just going to sit that on top of the box for now. It's it's a lot different on the fitting kit. Um, a lot of different parts, the pipes different, and you uh, looking at that, they even give you some, uh, they even give you a little bit of Loctite. But obviously there's your destructions. But the back plate obviously filter. The back plate's slightly different. There's your adapter plate. As you can see it's a completely different setup to the other one. But on this one you've got a like a bit sticking out and that's for your breather which just squirts out through this hole and if I get the other back plate you see that that hole there isn't there on that one it, I mean it's there if you know what I mean it's it's you could drill it out and put your own adapter on it but uh, the back plates are slightly different and as you saw the the other plate on oh, obviously just your tear drop filter air uh, cover so yeah I just thought I'd quickly show what the differences are between the throttle by wire and the uh, non throttle by wire this one here, the, the, the non-throttle by wire, it's still for an injection, not a carb. Um, but it's for the injection where you've got throttle cables. So, what I'll just quickly do is get this lot put back in its box. Get the destructions back in there. Seal that back up. And we'll get rid of that one out of the way. Right, I'll just grab me a uh, bit pad for the floor. Thank you. 
find some stuff so that I can actually put this thing down. I'll just knock you off a minute, I'll come back when I'm ready. Right, so to start with, I'm going to be taking the, uh, the old. This is a stage one air filter kit that's on this, but you still want to be taking it off for this job. I'll just get myself comfortable. So to get these covers off, this where it says 103, they're just sort of stuck on nine times out of ten. It's it's almost like a, a velcro type. It's got like a real weird. It's almost like velcro, but it's not velcro. And when you when you put it back on, because obviously I won't be showing that, you just get it line get it to line up and then it snips in and that's it back on. So just pop that off. And you'll see there's a big the big bolt in the middle, which that's handy. Just add it right there and put it there. knock you off a sec, I'm just going to get a, a bit of rag, just yeah. I think I switched that off as I was explaining what I was going to do, I've just got a piece of rag, um, just so when I take that off I can just put it on top of the rag and it doesn't get scratched on the floor. So just take your centre bolt out and as you see there, the cover just falls off. So I'll just sit that down there, it's 103. And then you've got a oh, there's a space that sits in the middle of that. This is just like some rubber. Obviously, you saw it was just sat on there. Um, the space that sits in the middle of there—it's what it bolt clamps down onto when you're bolting your cover on. So I'll just sit that in the filter housing, and now. I better didn't bring the freaking spin out uh, ratchet with us. Unless that's it. Nope. Rather than fuck about, I'll see if I've got a spanner. So undo these three. If I was more organised, I would add a, a socket for this. And as I'm taking this lot off, I'm just chucking it inside the air filter cover. Just so it doesn't get lost. So you take your three bolts out and then you just lift off your air filter which looking at that needs a fucking good clean. So, and as you can see, well, maybe, just at the bottom, fucking oil dripped off it. And that's off the breather. So I'll have to clean me uh, cam cover again. We've got to wipe off, make sure we know what else is going to drop off. Because on the standard one, the breather comes out of here, your head breathers, and it comes through, it actually comes out here and sprays into your, into your, it's meant to spray, sort of drip and spray into there. So, so the next step is we'll undo these three little Allen bolts. I might need to get my other Allen key set for this because it's let's have a look. Where the fuck's everything gone? Right, I'm just gonna knock you off a sec till I get the right fucking tools for the job. Right, I've got my socket for the my Allen key socket, but I've also got 
a half inch just to wind these off. This means my Al Allen socket will go in a bit easier. These are just standoffs that for when you mount your your filter on. Right, now that's off, I can crack these, uh, they weren't even fucking tied. Right, so that, them three that I've just took out, they, uh, they're what bolt this to the throttle body. I uh, just need to find me... Just had the frigging thing a minute ago. What have I done with that? Obviously these ones bolt into the breathers, they're like a giant uh, banjo bolt, they've got a rubber seal in, o-ring seal in that end. Just get them in there out the way. Do this side. And now you just want to carefully just pull it off. And you can see there the gasket's stuck to the back of it. These O-rings in this end, as well as uh, an excessive amount of Loctite. But yeah, they're sealed and it seals against that bit on with the O-rings that are in the bolts. So that can just sit in there. And there in full glory is your uh, throttle body. I'm going to put a swan of all the wrong with us. One thing I want to check is that the uh, is that the air intake's definitely been plugged. The active air intake.
Should be hiding in here somewhere. I can't see it. I'm actually wondering if these throttle by wire even have them. Uh, right, what I need to do is just clean the old bits of gasket off. So it'll just be a second. Just lightly with the with your gasket scraper, just wipe off, wipe off, scrape off any bits of crap. You have to be careful. This is just one of them super scraper things, and it's got like a I don't know what the end is, tungsten or something like that carbide or whatever, tungsten carbide. But they really do do a good job of cleaning up gasket faces. cleanish bit of rag just wipe out the inside make sure there's no in there I'm just going to stick my head in the way with the torch As you can see, nice clean gasket surface. I'll give that a wipe off as well.
cool as. So, we'll make a start on uh, fitting this. Now, I've fitted quite a lot of these, so I don't really need instructions, but what I'll do is I'll go through the instructions with you. So, if just by any chance anybody has bought a second hand SNS filter kit, they'll know uh, how to put it on. Right, before I do anything, what's there? I was just looking for the end for my scraper. Back in the drawer. Right. So, according to this, remove stock air cleaner cover and back plate assembly, which we've just done. Install breather bolts and banjo fittings in cylinder heads. Picture one shows the component order tightened to 12, 10 to 12 foot pound. So. I shall uh, get the bits out, the bag of bits should I say, and sort out what we want and get it fitted on. Let's cut the bag open. I'll move that because then I can put this slot down here. You've got all sorts in this kit. You've got your fil uh, filters, you've got your gaskets and stuff that you want, so they can rest on the footboard. Oh, so I want that. And I want that. I want one of them. One of them. Should we do with them? Washers, gaskets, as in gasket washers. Covers and the actual breather itself. Now I know what them three are there off the actual cover. So I'll put them back in the bag for now because they're the last of one. There for fitting it to the so I'm just sorting out what I've got here. Right. Obviously that goes between. As you can see it's massively long. You cut it to length to suit what you need. Pin these killing me. It's not old age. I uh, I actually give my knee a good a good smacking with a big hammer because I missed what I was meant to be hitting. Right. So one thing I didn't do I didn't clean these up. Right, I'm just going to knock you off for a minute, I'll get my scraper back out. I'm just going to clean these bits here and then I'll come back. Just be a minute. Right, I've cleaned them up. Just got all, uh, there was obviously a bit of Loctite and stuff or gasket sort of stuff because there was quite a lot of it around there. Um, but, on, as I explained on your picture, you want all this breathe a lot onto your heads. So basically, that's one of your breathers. Uh, yeah. What you've got is a selection of washers. 
So you've got just a normal zinc flat washer and then you've got two these are like little gasket type things and if you notice if I can fucking get it somewhere where you can see it one's got a small hole one's got a big hole and this, the, the big hole goes to the back behind that so your zinc washer goes up against your head your big washer goes up against that the small washer is behind it um, and what you've got is these these are for your breathers this is what connects to your rubber pipe but as you can see on that end it's like that you'd, you'd put the smaller hole on that one and that's got a bigger hole in it and that side faces your head so it would actually go on that way like so says he as he blocks your fucking view go on no do it on that side instead so it'll go on that way so that the small hole is to the outside big hole to the inside so I'll get myself set up what I could do with actually is the right size socket for this before I do out I'm just going to knock you off a second I'm just going to get the right size socket Oh, right, socket for that to seven eighths. So, what it doesn't say in the instructions is putting any Loctite on that. But I always do, just put a little dab on there just so it can't vibrate loose. So, what I shall do, I'll get the kit together. Get one of the, oh, it's the dumbass. So, the uh, I got that wrong, I think. I might have just explained that wrong. The two washers, the one with the smaller hole actually goes to the back, and the bigger one goes to the to the front. So, I'll put my big in up against. The, the smaller hole side down then the washer that had the small hole goes on that side and then your normal flat zinc washer goes on there so what I'll just quickly do is put a bit of now the stuff they provide in the kit is just blue Loctite in a tiny little you get a tiny little tube of it, which is handy if you haven't got any. But obviously I've got plenty of it. So just a little drop. And then we'll screw that in. Says he. Bit on the tight side. Just me, uh... Oh, why can I find an out? Oh, it's there. Can't find it because I'm being blind. Now I want to nip that up just enough that I can still move that but I don't want to fully tighten it yet. Right, and we'll set the other side up. And this is exactly the same but just the other side.
So you screw them in so that they're sort of nearly facing each other but just not quite. Because you'll bring it down and bring it in, it'll sort of run along under just the underside of that bracket, as in there. But you've got to get this cut right. Because the reason I said I'd follow the instructions is it's not the best idea. If you're buying a second hand kit in complete, it'll probably already be cut and stuff, this hose. But on the so you've got it here, it tells you to fit all this lot here, and then measure and cut the breather hose so that it will slide all the way into both vent fittings and without kinking the hose. Stall breather hose on banjo fittings with the spring hose clamps as shown. Now it comes with proper spring clamps. Um, it also comes with a bigger spring clamp. So it comes with two of them lilans that I've just showed you, and it comes with the bigger one, which actually clips onto the back of the, the back plate. Now then tells you to install the back plate gasket on the back side of the adapter plate as shown. So don't bother with that at the minute but and don't bother getting your thing uh, you put in your hose yet because this is where I differ from their instructions. What I'll do is see. So when you when you fit this on, you sort of line up your three mounting bolts, and you've got your cut out here. Now, if I was to grab the back plate, when it's when it's fitted, and you line your bolts up to your back plate. I'm just lining these up, you can't see this, but I'm just lining it up where the back plate will actually bolt to this adapter plate. And as you can see there, that adapter plate is sitting centrally, the cutout is sitting centrally over where this pipe is. So, what I just do is just temporary get the little screws you know that's small. Get the right size Allen key, which I thought I had just here. And obviously haven't. Right, I'm just going to knock you off a sec. Just till I find the right size Allen key for this. Right, can't find the right size socket for this, so I'm just gonna nip it on by hand for now. Now there's a gasket to go behind this. But all I'm doing for now is putting that on so that the pipe will sit in the middle of it. Then I can mark the pipe to cut it. And uh, I haven't even got a fucking pen to mark it with numb nuts. Right, so get it so it's sitting centre. Oh my head's it's not blocking this. And then you can see where your end of your thing wants to be. So just put a line on. And then the same on this end. And then basically, as you can see, there, just above my nail, a line and a line at that end. So that's to cut 
And what I'll just quickly do now is take this back off. See, I think in the instructions it should say temporarily fit this adapter plate so that you get your. In fact, I'm just going to put that screw back in there for a second. Right, so it tells you to cut that to the right size. So I'm putting it on to cut it to the right size and it's like right I've fitted it there so everything's going to be spot on. Yeah so if you follow the instructions you haven't fitted that and you line it up and you think all right Bob on there that's like 10 mil out you're going to struggle now to get that to fit properly on your back plate so yeah in my opinion they should tell you to fit that temporary without the gaskets just to line it up so you're cutting it in the right place now you might think to yourself well, why don't they just send you one cut to the right length But if you think about it, if you're buying this kit to go on a, a stroker, heads are higher up, they're further apart. Right, I'm just going to knock you off a minute and I'll cut this. This is just rubber pipe, you can cut it with a standing knife. So I'm just going to cut this to length and then I'll come back. Right, I've cut the bit of pipe, which you'll see in a second. What I'm just going to quickly do now is I'm just going to put my spanner under there and I'm going to torque these bolts up to 12 foot pound and I don't want that to move. Same on this one, where I'll be able to get my finger under there, I think, or above it even. That's just moved. Right, that's them tight to 12 foot pound, like it said in the book on the instructions. I'll just wind that off. So now that you've got that on, or should I say now you've got them tied, there's the pipe cut to size. Get one of your clips and a pair of pliers and just pull your clip together if, if it'll allow you. Now just put the clip to the inside because you want to be able to get at that in a minute. Uh, get the other clip on the other end. Right, feed the pipe on onto each stub in. Turn it so it's facing slightly up. And then when you line your bolts up again, you'll see that it's sort of in line and you'll be able to get your, your stubbing out the back of your back plate to go on. So, some tools, and then get your, your little clampy things and put them right at the end. And 
and that seals that up. So now you get your uh, get your gasket, straighten her up a bit, and put it on your. Uh, bolts through here. Get my blue lock tight. Just put a little drop on that. Get me Allen key. And just start that in but don't don't take it all the way in. Get rid of the bolts. Dab of Loctite. Make sure it's lining up with the gas gasket. And then get your last bolt. And then just wind them up. And that's your adapter plate on. And if I'd had the uh, the what do you call it, the right size socket, you would have talked them up to eighty to ninety inch pound. But that's tight. So the next step. Is we'll get oh, just drop the fucking thing. Is I'm going to put this uh, clamp on that short bit of pipe, the bit that's facing you. Because the next thing we want to be doing. Is uh, turn it over. What have we got here? So I forgot about the instructions. Well, I would, I didn't. But so you've got got your gasket on. You've talked it up if you've got the right size socket, which I didn't. Shows it going in, and it shows it in place. The next step is apply blue thread locker to two. To these two bolts, and uh, basically put your covers on. So, you've got these little covers that go over that go over your pipes. One for each side, and they are a little bit uh, bigger, and I've got the right size socket. So, finally, blue Loctite. Put a drop on that.
and is there a torque setting for that? 10 to 12 which is the same as we had it on before so we'll use the... lost the fucking battery again been absolute garbage they are brand new fucking battery as well right I'm going to talk these up to 12 foot pound that is no I'm not because it's not going to that's going to turn I'm sure that's the right size That's the right size. Started turning the inside of that one. So I've just tightened them up tight. So the next thing is you want to be looking at putting your back plate on and make sure you get the, the gasket on the back the right way up you don't want it blocking that hole right I'm just going to knock you off for a minute right as I was saying Make sure you get your gasket in the right place on the back and feed your, your three mount, mounting screws on and it will hold the gasket in place Like so, you can see there the gasket's in the right place and the bolts are through. So, get the right size this time. Well, I had the right size before, it's just. Fuck, have I put them now? It. So just offer it up just till you can start screwing it in and just start all three just get me uh, my tool and just wind them in I'll talk these up in a minute. Now, I didn't put blue Loctite on these three bolts because it already had it on. It was it was already on on the threads. But what you want to do now is unstick this fucker. I say fucking better without my glasses on. Let's get my torch on the go because this has pushed its cell against the edge that's better just going to stick my torch in here for a minute uh, get the pliers in and open the the clamp that you put that was on it and 
and then basically push the pipe need a pair of long nose it'd be easier just knock you I'm not going to do anything I'm just going to get a long set of long nose pliers I'll be back in a minute right got some long nose just so I can get it better onto this Lamp says he. That's better. Put it at the fucking top, it would help. Right, so I've got that together. Let's grab a screwdriver, get behind that pipe, and get it shoved on. This is a little bit awkward. The old style is a lot easier. Turn that again. screwdriver in. You just want to make sure that you shove it all the way onto the breather, the bit that's sticking out of the back of the back plate. Right, and that's on. Should be on a little bit further. And then just check that the clamp's in the right place, which it is. And that's your breather pipe connected to this bit here. Right, have I got, I need a big screwdriver, a uh, big Phillips, which actually I think is down there. Now that that's on, I've got the Phillips for the next step. Now that that's on, as you can see there it tells you to put the, the back plate on. It actually shows you on there to get the gasket the right way and a picture of the back plate on. Uh, tighten screws. Install back plate on back plate adapter showing picture 9. Tighten screws to 80 to 90 foot pound. So That didn't say fucking foot pound. Surely to fuck. If you follow that, inch pound, not foot pound. I was going to say fucking hell, you'd strip them right out. So, I'm sure I've got inch pound on here. No, I haven't. Right, I'm just going to knock you off a sec. I'm going to go on to Google, because I've got my phone handy. I'm just going to convert this to inch pound so I can set this torque wrench properly. Right, 80 to 90 inch pound is like 6.6 .6 to 7.5 foot pound. So I've set this to 7. I'm going to do it in the middle. So... Make sure we've got the right. I 
Now I've lost my adapter again. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going around this until it stops turning because what it's doing is it's squashing the gasket. I think that's it. That'll do. So now that that's on Basically, we'll put the uh, take the air filter out of its bag. Put it in over its A thing of beauty. So I just line it up with your with your holes. And that's it. Cool as a fook. So what I'll do is I'll get the screws, which you put back in that bag, and you just want to allow drop the Loctite on. That's what I wanted the screwdriver for because these are a cross head. So let's line one of the holes up again. Get all three in before you tighten them up. I'll drop a Loctite on the last bolt. And that's that. One air filter kit fitted S and S, and that looks fucking shed loads better. Normally, I don't follow the instructions; I just fit them. But I thought I'd go through the instructions with you there, just to show that uh, if you follow the instructions, you can get that pipe wrong. So. But anyways, it's on, it's fitted, ready to go. Right, I'll knock you off for now and I'll come back ready for the next bit.